Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm with... Harry Has. Harry Has. <laughs> welcome to the channel. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on. That's <laughs> all right. A few weeks ago, I posted on my Instagram to see if anyone would be interested in having their outfits rated. And today, me and Harry are going to be doing that. But it is a rating, not a roasting, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, we're just going to be giving out constructive criticism, just things that we might personally do. Obviously, wear whatever you want at the end of the day. Also, sorry in advance if I mispronounce your name. Um, I seem to always do that. So I'm going to be leaving all the pronunciation up to Harry. Definitely not. <laughs> I'm even worse. <laughs> and also, if you somehow don't know about Harry, he does have his own YouTube channel as well. And definitely go check it out because we've done a second video on his channel too. Now, just before we get started, I do have some questions for Harry that I know a lot of my subscribers want to know the answers to. <laughs> okay. The first one is, are we secretly working together? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we meet up uh, at 5 to 12 every Sunday to press the upload button together. Yeah, that's what we do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's your answer. We work together at the YouTube headquarters. Exactly. All week long. <laughs> and we coordinate upload times. our upload times, yeah. okay? There it is. <laughs> on, a, on a serious note, Harry has been uploading at that time a lot longer than me. So <laughs> if anything, I copy him. Um, that's the only time of the week that I can really upload. And actually, fun fact, I the reason I do it at 12 is uh, when I was starting my channel, I just looked for the optimum time to post a video in the UK. Yeah. And that was it. I think for me, it was just, I, uh, my upload day was on a Friday and the stress of trying to get it done uh, for Friday was too much and yeah. the Sunday gives me th the Saturday if I need to do anything more and the Sunday morning yeah and then the rest is just like it's a bit of an optimal time I yeah think, yeah. yeah but anyway we're gonna start going through the outfits now and I'll show them up on screen at the same time so you can see them too okay so we got the first outfit up on screen down here and probably gonna butcher this name but i'm gonna say sergio apostol unfortunately he hasn't listed where these pieces are from but what are your first impressions of this one it's a simple outfit but uh, i like to keep things very simple so i'm all for that the pop of green's nice uh, it goes well with the black trousers anything goes well with black in my opinion and then the yellow is it a, a yeah, I don't know what that is. Is it's it a, a coat jacket? or a jacket? Yeah. I think it works well. The colour works well with the, the green t-shirt. And then white sneakers, again, you they all go with everything. So a safe outfit, a simple outfit, but nothing wrong with that. I think it looks, um, I think it suits him well. Yeah. Uh, do you recognise any of these pieces? The t-shirt looks like it could be the Uniqlo uh, Airism. Oh, yeah. Uh, oversized t-shirt. Yeah, that we're, we're struggling to see what, what you're wearing on bottom. It's, they're so dark <laughs> yeah either way the fits i like the fit of the there's some they're a fit i would normally go for just something not too slim not too uh too baggy just a nice fitting pair that have a slight crop so yeah i'm all for that kind of fit yeah i think he's got them rolled up on the bottom isn't he mm, yeah maybe yeah maybe. but yeah i like what i really like um something i always talk about is that neckline i love that chunky collar yeah so i think you're right it might be the uniqlo mark neck i think he's tucked it in he's got some nice proportions going on and yeah just looks like a nice outfit for like a warmer climate or yeah. a warmer day doesn't it mm -hmm. yeah very nice thank you okay this next one is from zarif ismail i think sorry in advance if i've got that wrong but he has um, given us a breakdown of where all of these pieces are from. Again, I'll go with you, Harry. What's your first impressions of this? There's more going on here. So the jacket is the Unico and Jill Sander uh, 2021. It's an action shot, so um, it, yeah. you can't see how stuff fits completely, but... Um, I think, actually, he did say he didn't like his pose in this okay. one, but he liked the because he sent two photos mm. in in the second one he doesn't have the cap on i know i know that feeling I, yeah. i'm really bad at posing so um <laughs> yeah, yeah I, the action shots or like normally look better <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but um yeah i think it's uh it's an interesting look it's simple but then there is a lot going on at the same time so you've got the stripes of the shirt but then the stripes of the tie going uh the other way so yeah. i think if the stripes had been going vertically on this on the tie it would have just been too much too stripey yeah too stripey yeah. and it would have been more noticeable or just blended into yeah. the 
yeah. the rest of what's going on. But yeah, are they jo- they're joggers as, as well, are they? Sweatpants. Sweatpants yeah. from So sweatpants, Cos. a shirt and a tie. So he's yeah. gone smart with sweatpants, which is not something that I have done personally. No. It suits his style, I think. I think it works for him. This is kind of like that Amelie Andor style, yeah. would you say? Yeah. yeah. Which I do very much enjoy, especially this like shirt and tie combo. I'm seeing that way more in yeah. streetwear these days. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's something you would? Try? It's not something I would do. Yeah. It's not. It's just I, I just like to keep things not so simple. I'm going. I think I'm going more like into the sort of grungy aesthetic, but yeah. more like back to my roots. I'd say I used to be a bit of an emo back in the day, so I'm yeah. going so like going back into that sort of not as much as I used to be. <laughs> that's the direction I feel like I'm going in yeah. um, and away from the kind of clean preppy style a bit more. I don't see myself doing this, but I think it, it definitely works for him. Yeah, it looks really good. I uh, Yeah, I like that it's, it's something different in it. People are, are creating a new look, mixing that smart and casual wear. Yeah, I like the jacket. That's nice. It's like, um, it's got that sort of North Face Nupsy style. I don't think I've bought anything from the Jill Sander collection before. Are they typically like priced high? Uh, it's, I know? think it's similar to the U range, I think. Yeah. It's maybe a little bit higher. Weirdly, they did do a, a jacket from the U collection recently that was similar to that it had the high mm. collar as well in the u in the u range oh yeah i've got, that. I've got it oh you got it how <laughs> yeah. much did you pay for that uh that one was it was around 100 quid okay yeah yeah so Which, maybe that was around the same yeah yeah like the, t- the tote bag as well i always feel like totes look good in fits like outfit picks but i never like i've got one but i never use it that much i'm did the other i'm one? the other way yeah. around oh. i I've, i use them but don't put them in outfit picks. Oh, okay. So like for me, I don't like bags. So I, I just like, I will, if I have to have a bag, I'll, I'll use a tote. For me, I wear a lot of simple stuff. So like a tote bag in a, in a fit pick would, would work quite well. Totally, yeah. But, um, yeah, I do find them quite useful. As long as they're the long the long ones I can sling over my shoulder, yeah. the short handle ones, yeah. absolute pain. But yeah, yeah. yeah but the other thing I want to say about this fit is I've heard so many people say that green and blue don't work together. Have you heard that one? Yeah, blue and green. Well, I hear it about anything with green. Red and green yeah. should never be seen. Yeah. Blue and green. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I think it works. Just it's fine. ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. And I think the color combination of the blue and green. Yeah, with that cap. Perfectly. Yeah, I think that. I think that actually finishes off the look perfectly. I wouldn't have picked probably any other color. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think bl- uh, blue cap would have been too much of the same thing. I think a green works perfect. Good fit, man. Yeah. Good we fit. like it. <laughs> Okay, this next one is from Two Women's, and they've given us a breakdown again, which is really nice. This is a proper interesting one. There's layers to this outfit, so maybe we should start on the bottom layer uh, with the t-shirt, which he says is from Claro merch. She's a singer, I think. Oh, okay. (laughs) I'm an idiot. (laughs) Uh, Okay, so when they say merch, they actually mean like music yeah. merchandise okay yeah. yeah right i get it but it's a really nice design it's got that sort of classy artistic look to it and uh, we can see that there's some really high-waisted jeans where are they from thrifted 501s they look way too high-waisted to be 501s what do you reckon yeah they do <laughs> i've got 501s on currently and me. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. yeah. They, yeah. they look like 505s to me but then i can see they've got a zipper so mine have got buttons my 501s your 501 yeah maybe i've got maybe i've got 505s <laughs> on then and they've, they've got a zip but they look they look good i like you know i'm gonna say it rule of thirds they've smashed it haven't they mm-hmm. that's like a perfect breakdown with the more cropped top and the longer leg jeans uh the shoes are the doc martins 1461s do you have any docs now I've got some uh, Solivaire, but not any docks. I used to have docks when I was a kid, but I haven't had any for years now. No, yeah. um, I recently got rid of mine oh, yeah, for Solivaires. Yeah. yeah, I have always liked the 1461s though. Nice chunky shape to them, which I think just goes really well with the more relaxed jeans. They have got a purse as an accessory. Kind of a cool idea. Yeah. Don't see why not. I mean, what's the difference between that and a tote bag, really? Yeah. Yeah. Like here, it's a nice accessory. It ties in, it's like with the t-shirt and the white socks as well. It's just like a yeah. sort of bonding piece kind yeah. of thing. And then we go to the next layer and they've got on this weekday lake jumper from the women's section. And I'm loving that. 
that's, that's that's right up my street the wide boxy fit the cropped length the the v-neck seam inside out seam design lovely piece that is yeah i think it makes the outfit for me as well it's it's um i love the cut of it that for me is like the rule of thirds again the way it drapes as well is uh really nice the width works well here as well it's like for me i don't really wear really wide fitting things but i think mm. it definitely works really well here yeah um and then we go on to the final layer of this outfit and there's a scarf we don't know where that's from but it just looks like a camel maybe a wool scarf and then a thrifted brown overcoat again i'm i'm loving that what do you reckon yeah it finishes off the look nicely definitely need to get some posing tips as well because mine are no, nowhere near as good yeah these yeah these photos are bang on <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah the beret as well it's like i don't think i could pull that off but no. i really appreciate it <laughs> i'm not saying no you couldn't i'm just yeah, saying oh, yeah, i, I yeah. don't think i could either <laughs> yeah. yeah it's it gives the look a more interesting edge i think you don't it's mm. not something you see every day i love to see people doing different things without the beret it would be very simple it does add up the the cherry on top it does well, yeah. it is a cherry on top yeah yeah thanks for sending that one in Okay, on to the next outfit now, and this one was sent in from Din Pex. So he's got the double denim look going on with the shirling collar and the boots, which look familiar. They're the Veyron 1992 boots, I believe. Okay, do you have those? I do, yeah. 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 So they're high tops. Mm -hmm. My first thing I'd say is quite a shame to not see that high top mm -hmm. length, but I can understand why, you know, not everyone likes to crop their jeans and and have their full boot on show. But my first thought is, I actually reckon that would really work here. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you think? Personally, I would roll them up or show that off, but I think it works without, um, I think both would work. Yeah. Uh, quite like the, the longer length on the trousers with this outfit. Yeah, what do you make of the double denim? Do I like double denim. For me, if I was going to wear this, I would go for a, a shorter denim jacket um, and I'd probably wouldn't go for a shirling denim jacket. Mm. There's nothing wrong with them. They just don't. Re they're just not something I would. I would generally go for. And that would probably be the only thing I would. I'd change here. Yeah, I have the exact same thoughts when I first saw this. Everyone probably knew it was coming from us, but we always talk about having shorter length tops. And I think you know it's not always necessary, but I think it would really work here if that was slightly shorter. Otherwise, it still fits really well. Yeah. Yeah, but I can't identify any of these pieces apart from the shoes. I reckon yeah. there's some Levi's going on in it there It looks somewhere. like some Levi's yeah. going on. Let us know down in the comments yeah. if you're there. Thank you for sending it in. Okay, this next outfit is from Cam. They've given us uh, a nice breakdown again, which is really appreciated. Thank you. Very much sort of Western inspired, mm -hmm. would you say? Yeah, I like the fit. Well, obviously the, the boots are tying in with the jacket. Uh, the colors work really well together. It's not something I would go for. I guess it's a bit too clean cut for my personal taste. A bit dressy than yeah, what I would normally I go you, for. Yeah. But I, I think it suits them really well. I don't recognize many of these the, of these brands. The jacket's from Lesco. No, I don't know. Um, and the boot's from Dan Post. I know that Pendleton, I've got a, a bunch of Pendleton shirts. They're like bang for your buck. Some of the best out there, I'd say. Get them on eBay easily uh, for a good price. The jeans, 517s, I know they're boot cuts. So I've got a pair of those. Orange tab, do you know what that means? There's like, no, there's like silver tab, orange tab. Like, yeah. I don't know what orange tab means, no. No, yeah, I, I, no idea what orange tab means. I'd love, if anyone knows, please let us know down in the comments. What do you think of the um, overall fit? Is there anything you would change or anything you would add? I don't think so. I don't think it needs much else. I think the, the jacket's a bit longer than I'd normally go for, but then because of the shorter length of the sweatshirt, it doesn't need to be any shorter. Hmm. I think it actually works fine. I think the proportions are on point, personally. I don't think there's anything I would change for this for this kind of style. I, yeah. I think it it all fits them perfectly. Also, I know you're a bit of a musician. Do you? Uh, what do you think of this? These instruments in the back. Looks like a Fender Stratocaster, but I can't really tell properly on the left. I used to play a lot of guitar, <laughs> two basses actually there. Yeah, when I was 13, I used to play a lot of guitar till about 20. And then I went to uni and it was all electronic music there. So I sort of left guitar. Oh, I still okay. have a little yeah. play every now and then, but I mainly make electronic stuff nowadays. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just, the only the thing I notice is a switch. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Random Nintendo switch by there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, Cam. 
All right, next up, this one is from Lucas Makedo, I think. Loud. Loud yeah. pants. Loud pants. Yeah, what do yeah. you reckon? I really like it. Yeah. I um I love the proportions. I love the pants. Like I think they make the whole outfit for me. I don't know if I wear I would wear them. I think you have to have a bit of like guts to go uh, yeah. and wear them but at the same time like i am liking a bit of like leopard print styles um at the moment um i think it's animal prints in yeah, this animal year so lucas you, you're you're ahead of the curve I'd yeah say. yeah definitely and the proportions are on point um i love the way the trousers are kind of like cuffed in to show off the high tops of the boots yeah it's got like a kind of military kind of look to it the only thing i would do differently is and this is just all comes down to i just i don't feel like i suit boots without laces so for me a pair of combat boots would be the only thing i would change here i think everything else i think it's a really cool fit like i really like this one yeah i love it i love that hoodie like it looks faded and slightly cropped like i wonder if that's vintage it's yeah nice. it looks a bit like i've got one from picante and the fits a little bit like that mm. um and it has a similar look to that but i don't know if that's yeah that might be a vintage pickup i'm not sure yeah and those boots i i've no idea where they're from i don't know forgive me if i'm wrong here they could be just like a pair from asos or something i was like thinking that, that yeah. because i think i actually bought something very similar to this mm. when i was trying to get that Bottega yeah Veneta look i know asos do a lot of boots that like yeah. try and replicate that kind of style so that would be my first guess but yeah I, I don't know but yeah overall i just think proportions on point nice amount of loudness yeah you, you haven't gone over the top confident yeah. pose as well confident pose yeah thank you very much okay this next one is from fabian luca over on instagram What's your first impressions of this one, Harry? It's very on trend at the moment. Um, very, yeah, in line with the current sort of winter trends we've been seeing a lot of, like the the big chunky scarf, like Acne Studio scarf. Is yeah, a, I was going to say, is that one. Acne, do you reckon? Uh, I'm not sure if, I don't think that one is. I'm not so sure. It's definitely got the same sort of thickness and length of the Acne ones, but it's, it is the standout piece in the outfit. I never bought one in the end, but I was I was very much on the verge of getting one of these scarves. Did you end up getting a massive no, scarf? I I've no, I've got an acne scarf, but not one of the big ones. And I'm kind of yeah. glad it's not really my style. Mm. But, um, and I think they were a little bit overdone. It's the whole like showing off the the label with the oh, acne yeah. scarf. Yeah. <laughs> um, and some people like wrap it, proper yeah. wrapping their heads up around. Yeah. I did do, I did do that. Uh, on Instagram before it properly took off. I got rinsed oh. for doing it. <laughs> Harry the <laughs> trendsetter yeah, again. I don't think I did. It wasn't yeah. me who first did it, but I just saw it on someone and I thought, oh, that looks cool. I'll try that. Yeah. And then the, the hat looks like a, a Balenciaga um, cap. But yeah, that, that's a very curved brim cap, yeah. isn't it? I haven't seen a curved brim like that <laughs> in a while. Um, I don't know if they come like that or... I think they do, yeah. Oh, they actually yeah. do? Okay, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. Yeah. That's like a throwback to the early 2000s, I think. On feet, looks like Doc Martens again. 1461s again, do you reckon? It could be, it could be like a Rick Owens collab on Doc Martens. I can't tell if it's the bo bottom of the trousers are like frayed a bit, so there's like... Yeah, the some, white... Yeah. yeah, the white frays coming out, and they are some 1461s, um, or what if they're... I can't really make out what they are, to be honest. No, but yeah. then nice and shiny <laughs> and chunky. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that They work perfectly with, yeah. the, with the fit. I think the the trousers we can't really make out but uh apart from the bottom looks like a kind of a boot cut type fit i don't even know if they're trousers or jeans but they go well with the docks mm. and then i'm kind of finding it difficult to make out the the jacket as well actually or the coat it looks like an overcoat gray wool overcoat uh which you just cannot go wrong with yeah the length on it's good as well actually it looked a bit yeah. shorter when we were zoomed in but yeah i think it proportion wise nice without the scarf it would be quite a simple fit and uh, it just adds a nice pop. Yeah, to be else. fair, that scarf does kind of it. Make does it. make the outfit, it yeah. It does make it. Mm. And that that whole... Uh, have you seen Succession? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I love it. That The cap with overcoat now is just Kendall Roy yeah. for me now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and I like it. So, yeah. Mm. But yeah, nice fit. Thank you, Fabian. Okay, this next one is from Luca and he did send in three outfits and we liked all three, but we're just going to pick out one and it's this one with the flannel shirt i can't really identify any of the other pieces you had some thoughts on the the boots maybe they're a pair of sort of military style hmm. boots but i can't they almost look canvas yeah i think they are they, they remind me of the 
palladium. Yeah, like the palladiums or the ones you can get from military first, like the surplus sort oh, of um, yeah. army boots, like those kinds yeah. of things. Or like, I'm not sure if Yeezy did that, you know, those um, camel colored sort of Yeezy boots that they did. Yeah. It's like that kind of thing, but I can't really work out from the picture if it is if it is that. You don't often see like sort of khaki green shoes. So mm. I think he's done well to get them into an outfit. The trousers, I don't know, what are they? Are they trousers or jeans? They got a bit of a taper on them. Yeah, we can't identify those trousers. We like the shape of them, though. They they do go well with the boots, don't they? But yeah. if if you're a, if you're in the comments, please do let us know uh, what what they are. Moving on top, uh, he's gone with the classic flannel over t-shirt combo. We like that, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Yeah, where are you getting your flannels from these days? I don't actually wear flannels that much these days. I used to wear them quite a lot when I was younger, and I think. Maybe because I wore them so much when I was younger, I associate with that was my younger style. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't I don't often wear them. But I think the ones that I do quite like these days are from John Elliott. I quite like oh, the yeah. ones because they've got like a bit of a crop fit, um, yeah. a bit of a frayed bottom. The brand R13 do some quite cool ones. They're a bit more on the grungier side. I've got a couple from Porter James Sports, which had a nice boxy fit. Yeah, I remember um, those. They were yeah. really nice. Yeah, what about you? My, my thing is to go vintage yeah. with them now. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm... I think I mentioned earlier with the Pendleton. Mm -hmm. um, I've got loads of Pendleton flannels now. They're, you know, 100% wool, made in USA. They're like from the 70s. They've got a lovely boxy cut to them. So they're quite wide, they're quite short. And I don't think I've paid more than 20 quid for one, which is like, Bargain. it's kind of crazy. Yeah, I like this one. I, I, I wouldn't, I can't, I can't tell where it's from. Just looks like a nice mid-weight flannel. Uh, but overall, just a solid, comfortable fit, right? Yeah, just a daily popping into town yeah or going for a walk in the woods yeah kind of a uh, outfit yeah versatile yeah, yeah yeah uh yeah thanks for sending that in Cheers. <laughs> that's all we got for you today thank you very much everyone for sending your photos in we could probably do another one of these in the future if uh, you liked it um and i will try and leave links to everything down in the description box in case you're interested in picking them up but uh, Harry, thank you very much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. And uh, I'll see you next time. Ta-ra. Ta-ra. <laughs> <laughs>